Yo guys, Team Vilar, George here with Team Vilar. Jason, yo, what up, Jason? What up, George? What are we profiling today? Dino Miss. Okay, been a long time coming, eh? This is this is your baby, right? This is my baby. I topped that one time with these. <laughs> like a year time. ago. That one time I topped with these, and ever since I've never given up on this deck. Okay. I gave up for a little bit, actually, not gonna lie, but I came back. Alright, but you came back, that's what matters. Yeah. Okay, let's see the fruits of your labor. Let's go. Alright, so I guess we're gonna do main deck first. Um, yeah, yeah. What's and this uh, Zark, by the way? What oh, is this is a great card. I pulled, I pulled that from the Maximum Crisis box. I mean, so now it's my token. Now it's his token. Okay. Now it's my token for everything. And you're just gonna leave it there? Yeah, is she staying there? <laughs> um, <laughs> no, absolutely not. Ultra Pole, get that away from me. <laughs> it's disgusting. Alright, we're gonna start it off though. So, first, pretty standard, we run three Dino Miss Rex. Sure. This is pretty much one of the one of the two boss monsters that you basically, once you go into, like, you're in a really good position. This one bounces back other cards. Damn. Um, without targeting, so. Targeting still not an issue, even though nowadays targeting is not too big. Yeah, you run three of those just because you want to see them. Also, it's a six scale. Then the other uh, big one you run is Dino Miss Finals. You only run two because you don't want to see three because it's clogging, right? But like if you really need it, you can easily go to it to charge or any of the um, searchable ones. Sure. So all the three scales have the same effect. So they can't. So if a Dino Miss card would be destroyed by battle or card effect, um, you can pitch the three one um, and send that to the extra deck instead. Or if um, for the six ones, it's um, let me just confirm. Um, if a card, confirm another dynamic card you control would be destroyed, so it's not targeted. Um, it just would be destroyed, and you can pitch this instead and save all the other dynamis cards. So it's protection, okay. Yeah, so if multiple ones are being destroyed, like Ragaki, you can just pitch this instead sure, of all sure, your sure, monsters sure. being destroyed. Okay. So those are the two big monsters. Next, we run two Ceratops and to Brachion. These ones are mainly just uh, scale fodder, one, three, one, six. Um, this one is a Cyber Dragon, and basically if that one, if another Dynamis one's on the field, you can just special this one additionally, so that's an easy rank five play. True. Right, which will come in handy later on, because we use a little, uh, slow fancy code called Cyber Dragon Infinity. <laughs> Next we have three Terran. This one's oh, really Terran. Good. this one's a really good card. It's basically a searcher. Um, it's normal summonable because it's level four. Um, 1800 beat stick with uh, the field card. It gets to 2100. Shut up. <laughs> it gets to 2100. It's a three scale, whatever. Um, other than that, you destroy a card by battle. Um, you get to search any dynamis card. So it's really good. Next MVP is Plesios. This card is amazing um, because basically for every one you have on the field. Um, your opponent's monsters lose 100 attack and defense for every Dynamis card. So if you have two on the field, then it stacks. So if it's five cards, it's really a thousand you're losing. That should just fuck you, basically. Right? So ba yeah, exactly. Especially with the field card, which um, is our mateys. It's coming up later. You can't. You can't do anything. I keep on referencing the field card because it is very important. But that's that. This one here, I run three Stegosaur, just literally for three fodder, as well as it can be situational on the field, but it's also good for rank four plays. Because you don't want to ditch one of the more important ones like Terry and Ecclesio, so you kind of just want to throw this one out. So that's why I run three of those. Okay. Then the last uh, Dino Mist card we run is two Ankylos. This one's really good because if a Dino Mist monster you control attacks, you just banish your opponent's monster. So Easy. instead of three. it going to the grave, you banish it. Okay. Right? And that just has to be on the field. This one's a six scale, so like it's a good balance between threes and six so that you're not stuck with too many threes or too many sixes, you kind of have a good balance. And then sure. last monster in this deck, Maxi, okay. have one, because rip Maxi. Okay, rip Maxi. Right, uh, okay, now into the spells. So we run one instant fusion. <laughs> oh, I won. Just one in the main deck. We have another one in the side deck. Okay. Just because during a regular game, you, like, you normally don't want to see the two because you don't want to give up too much life points because if you're not ahead of the game, you're going to lose quickly. And the second one just becomes dead later on because you either are going to want to use Norden or um, Panzer Dragon. You normally don't go into both. So it's just kind of your preference, but if I need it, I side in the second one. Next, one MST. Okay. Just one, I have another one in the side deck, just because, just for any type of um, game one removal that you have. Um, the scales are offer a lot of protection, so I'm not too worried about things being destroyed. It's just like problem cards or something like that. Do you not now have enough advantage to run Twin Twister? Or can you not afford the cost? I can't really afford the cost uh, with Twin Twister. MST still works better because um, you don't really have too much that you can discard. Okay. All right. Next, I run uh, Triple Ignite Reload. Damn. Uh, mixed Rarity. Um, so I just run. To draw. Yeah, I run these ones because if you are stuck with um, a bunch of three scales or something, you can just plus plus zero. I think it is. Or, it is plus zero. Yeah, it's plus zero, but you just recycle your entire like all your monsters, right? Yeah. And the chances of you drawing into something you might actually need is great, especially with the new card that came out. It helps unbook your hand. Yeah, this guy keeps foreshadowing cards. That's what it is, man. Life is foreshadowed. And 
The best probably spell code in the deck is Dynamis Dredge. It's tanky on activation. And then after that, once the first time a Dynamo Mist code would be sent to the top of the extra deck, you just add it back to your hand. Which is pretty good. It's pretty good. That's but actually really good. If two are destroyed at the same time and you have two on field, you could activate them simultaneously and get them both back. Damn, yeah, son. So that's three of those. You have to. Two power load. This is the field code I was talking about. So it gives all your Dynamis monsters a 300 boost okay. attack and defense. But the most important fact is that it's our mateys when a Dynamis monster attacks. So it just stops any kind of play that activates one of the monsters either targeted for an attack or when he's attacked, or when it hits a graveyard um, after being bed destroyed by battle or something. So then one terraforming just because you two want in one combo. Yeah, you want to see it. Um, you don't want to see it too often because it becomes kind of dead. Yeah, that's, it doesn't really give you advantage in any. Exactly, it just helps you bring it to your hand. I mean, that's one of the cards that does become dead. But it also, when you set it, people are more worried because I do run some traps. So like, just you don't know <laughs> what you're destroying. It's all about it. It's all about mind games. It is right. And then the, the first trap that we run. So it's the first Dino Mist uh, trap card that you run. It's a uh, Dino Mist Rush. So this one's really good. So basically. You just special summon one Dino Mist monster from your deck. It's unaffected um, by card effects for that turn, but it's destroyed at the end phase. But sure. you can combo that with charge really well because if you just activate it, it comes right back to hand. If nothing else was destroyed, so it's before. basically like a search. Exactly. So you're getting a free search, right? And during that turn, it can't be targeted by card effects. So really if good. you guys get Gekki or something, it's not destroyed. Okay. So three of those because it's important to see. Uh, the next one is something that just came out. Uh, two Dino Mist Howling. You don't want three because you don't want to see it too often. One is more than enough, but seeing the second one in late game is good. So what does this do? So basically what this does is um, when you activate it, if you have even one card, no cards in your Pendulum Zone, you activate it, you can just put two cards from your deck, two Dino Mist cards from your deck into the Pendulum Zone. Bro, for real? Yeah. Just, That's so dumb. So what I did the other day was um, I had the two scales. I activated both the scales' effects, right? So to, to, to protect my monsters twice, activated this, Reset my scale so I had additional protection. Jeez, that's like I was gold. That's fucking crazy. Two of those, like I said, you don't want to see the third one. It's too much. Um, and then some um, some Jason uh, some Jason exclusive some ones. Some Jason text. Yeah, two different mirror forces. One storming, one quaking. It depends on what you're going for. This guy I mean, loves his mirror forces. Quaking is great because uh, with spinos you can just blow over. You don't even have to attack any monsters. You can just uh, keep on attacking directly. If they have a five on the field, it has an effect where it can just start dr uh, directly attacking your opponent. Storming, just in case you never know, throw it all back in your hand. Let them have fun with it. Uh, so the morning, just because. Uh, morning. It's all morning, it does a great effect. You pay 2,000 like Oh points. my god, let's go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, morning is morning, you don't have to explain that. So, that's it for my 40 card main deck. Let's see uh, the extra deck. Extra deck next? Okay. So, this is a magical card I was talking about before. You may have heard of it. Everyone knows about it uh, Cyber Dragon Infinity. It's really good because you can make this so simple. Yeah, all of them are machines. Yeah, everything's up to a machine, so it's really easy to make, right? So, don't have to go into too much detail about that. Next, we run um, the Volcasaurus and the Gaia Charger, Gaia Charger combo. Um, if he has monsters on board, there's no need really to make this one because you can still attack the monster, but direct attack you get 2600 off. Sure, 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 sure. Plus the burn. So everyone knows what those kind of do. Next we have Abyss Dweller because they're all water, so you get that boost from a yep. Dweller's effect that no one really knows about, and plus you stop all the great good plays for two turns. Really good for that. And when you push into a game, you want to go Heartland Draco, a little bit of a classic, a little, little bit of my favorite. Right, so you it's go with that. Tech. Yeah, exactly. And then who's this cutie coming up? Oh, then this cutie here. But how do you uh, summon him though? That's the thing. You got the Bahama Shark. Because everyone's a water. Totally awesome combo. So you got the Infinity <laughs> Toad play that it can shut down your opponent easily. No problems asked. You get those two, you know what those do, right? Look how pretty that looks. <laughs> Next we have a little tech as well. Uh, Ragnar Zero. Ragn Zero. Because Plesios messes with the attack and defense of monsters. So getting this on board without touching Plesios is great because then you can just pop a monster for nothing. Not bad. And you, you draw a card, I'm pretty sure, from it. Yeah, and you draw a card. Next we have uh, this really long name, so this one's really good because it's water monsters. <laughs> um, yeah, but the uh, effect is great because if it is destroyed, you can just special summon one of the two materials you use for this back. So if it's a plus you just get that right back and yeah. you have them to deal with that as well. Okay. Yeah, it's really good for that. Next we have when you push into the game as well. <laughs> that's it. That's and then the instant fusion targets, we have Panzer Dragon. Panzer and Norton, like I said, I have the second one, you'll see that. Um, the first one, you, you basically pick, if you don't have anything in your graveyard, you just go for the Panzer. And you can either let it be destroyed, pop a card, or exactly. you just go right into the infinity. Sure. Norton is Norton. Should be banned, but it's not, so. <laughs> so we use it. Next we have just last two cards, the Lightning Uto combo. Yeah, Utopia standard. Classic. Push for game, everything like that, right? Okay, side deck. Everyone in the side I'm deck. Excited for the side deck. Jason oh, usually has some funny picks for this one. <laughs> Alright, so we got one MSC. Classic. Platinum Secret Rare. Of course. Um, so one just to add in case there's more problem things. Next we have a third Brachion. 
why? Because, why? Just, what do you mean why? <laughs> why? Situational, depending on this, like depending on what you're against and everything. Because if you want to just have a monster, like I said, this is Cyber Dragon, right? So if you're in a situation where you know your opponent might be able to stop either pendulums or stop your plays for rank fours or anything like that, then you need an extra, ang- uh, extra elf for rank five play. Sure. And rank fives are pretty good. The second instant fusion. Second instant fusion, we all know that. Next we have two forbidden chalices. Really good card. VFD. Basically just stop any of your opponent's plays during your stream. <laughs> Honestly. Instead of Valor. Next we have some oh, fun this? some fun stuff. What so we this? have non-fusion area. One non-fusion. And summon limit. <laughs> One summon limit. Okay, wait, non-fusion area basically does what it says. Neither player can fusion summon. So it's really good against TV all your storages. Oh, what an asshole. That's just the main reason I have that, just to piss them off. And summon limit, so neither player can summon more than two times per turn. Isn't that so it, no, because a pendulum summon is one summon. Oh, so you can get five monsters out with one summon. And it fucks up a lot of decks like dinosaurs and trees. Anything that kind of summons more than twice. So it's a good little tech that I have and I really find it fun to use. Buy them while they're cheap. <laughs> Basically, next we have the little mirror combo. Damn, so what are you worried about with these cards? With these ones, just in case, you know. Like who, though? Like just, just the dumb ones. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, I guess you chaos can look dragon, at those. Yeah, you know, yeah, Chaos yeah, Dragons, uh, Light Forms are coming back with the passion, you know. A uh, Fluffle Wings, of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you gotta be careful of Fluffles, right? Next we have two Imperial Iron Walls, so I run these, I'll usually take out the Ankylos, the ones that banish. Okay. Just for these two, that's why I run two and two, kind of just swap them out kind of thing. If your opponent's banishing everything, so you don't want them to banish, right? So you just stop that completely, don't give them any kind of like, um, uh, fodder for that. Next we have two cards, Floodgate Trap Hole. These are good to side in, in case like your opponent swarms the field or anything, just like Quaking Mirror Force. If they're face down, you can still hit for game. Sure, sure, sure. And yeah, that's basically... My right. profile. Well, thanks, Jason. Uh, guys, try it down below. Tell us what you think. And uh, Team Ular is out. Later.